All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. Uh, as you may have seen, I am actually still doing the collab dream. At this time, I'm joined by Summer. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Uh, Summer, tell them about yourself before I spoil them about your uh, your love of pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm Belgian, but I love pancakes more than waffles. <laughs> I was just saying to get serious. But yeah, it's great stuff all around. Um, I am an adventure game streamer. I play tons of adventure games, love them. Uh, yeah, I think we got in touch both, well, kind of by following the. Uh, adventure game speedrunning scene, uh, the wolves. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've been. Yeah, yeah, and we, and I guess around this other circles, I guess within the adventure gaming community. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I guess like yeah, you recently did a stream earlier today, at least in my time zone. Uh, you you yeah, yeah you played Leech Suit Larry Seven, uh, and you give more detail about that. It was because the pa it was mostly because the voice actor for Leech Suit passed away. Is that correct? Yeah. So. For my stream, I've been streaming Leisure Suit Larry games for four years. Like it's, it's an annual thing that I kind of just <laughs> go back to them every year, and it's just something that, that I've been doing with my community. And uh, I've been cultivating the love of Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, but yeah, he Jan Repson, the who was the voice of uh, Leisure Suit Larry, and also I, I think he also did voices in Freddy Farkas. Maybe also other Sierra games, but he like did a ton of voice acting and acting roles in general since the 80s. And he passed away about a week and a half ago. And it was just like when when I heard about that news, it was just like okay, it's time to go back to Larry and and uh, do something to commemorate him uh, and just share the Larry love, <laughs> yeah, right. which which is a bit controversial, but well, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, Leisure Suit Larry. It, I, well, you can't. Well, I can't play it on YouTube for obvious reasons. But I've only. And oh yeah, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, ATK. Thank you for stopping by. And yeah, Kino. Uh, yeah, hey, hope you're doing well as well. So um, I've for myself for Leisure Suit Larry. I've never really, um, to put it politely, I never really played the older Sierra ones. I actually got upset playing the first two ones because I couldn't open the door and died. Um, I didn't know it was a tech. I didn't know it was a text game, and that made me upset younger. As well as I had to cheat to figure out the answers to answer a thing. So let's get that out the way. And uh, playing it was not my jam. But I did play only usually I played the newer ones, the uh, Wet Dreams Don't Dry, and I had no idea it was a series behind it. When I think of like um, I was at least shoot Larry six and seven, or was it seven that was fully animated? That I saw you play that. I'm like, wow, this game. Outside, of, I, I still think that uh, the I think it's the writer Al Rowe, the creator. He has a very, uh, it's a very unique sense of humor. I'll leave it as that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tons of innuendo and just it's it's more about uh, insinuating sexuality and what's going on than actually showing it. Mm -hmm. But yeah I, yeah, I like it. It's and it's it's pretty much just Larry being this this lovable loser archetype who who is constantly coming on to girls but then the jokes made on him and it's yeah there there's there there's certainly been some misogynistic or or problematic problematic jokes and aspects in there but in general it's more about making fun of, of larry himself than oh a hundred percent like uh, he, he looks like a he, he looks like one of those uh I would say one of those horn dogs in the pimp suit from the seventies. It's it's a whole nine <laughs> it's a whole nine yards of a series. Yeah. But I I just I just generally find it funny as a series he lasted technically six games. I think I think he made a joke by skipping one title of the game. It was like Leisure Shoot Larry one two three. I think he skipped four or five, and that was it. He there was no five. I forgot which number he skipped. Uh, you know? It's it was four that was skipped. Like four was skipped. Yeah, so it was one, two, three, and it was like five. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, they they referred to it as Leech Suit Larry Four, the missing floppies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it was just kind of because uh, Tree kind of ended on well a situation where. Uh, Alo, the writer, creator of Leech Suit Larry, was kind of done with it, and he was like, okay, I'm just going to end the trilogy and the series like this. And then Sierra was like, oh, these games are uh, big successes, we need, you gotta keep making more of them. So <laughs> then he just kind of, uh, well, Larry had to gotten married to passionate Patty in mm -hmm. Tree, and 
Uh, so he had to kind of find a way to kind of undo that so Larry could be the, the single bachelor looking for love yet again. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, that's how the, he came up with the idea of skipping four and just going straight into the, ca the canon uh, timeline of five, I guess. <laughs> that's <laughs> a hilarious. Bit like how, yeah, a bit like how in, in Space Quest 4 uh, there's the jumping between the different games and their timelines and yeah i don't know it it, it worked um yeah. yeah i i've always just been kind of i've i'm i'm like on the asexuality spectrum myself but i just really appreciate those games from a comedy and uh yeah art creativity style yeah it's it's such <laughs> a know, no no yeah. trust me just like this, I we there's so much you can describe about the game and hopefully not mm -hmm. get banned. But let's leave it as that. Like I'll leave <laughs> I'll leave it this way. There are snake eye dice in seven, and those dices aren't the snake eyes you think they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We were just seeing that on stream earlier today in Larry Seven. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> Basically, so yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm on the opposite spectrum of you. While you're ace, I'm demi. So it's like. Phew. Well, actually, same spectrum, but it's all good. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's something like something around there, but yeah, it's just like whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a, it's interesting, but before we get more talk about the older times, let's get the new times. So I'm playing. We're playing oh. Kathy Rain, the director's cut. I have played the original Kathy Rain uh, several times, and I had the director's cut on deck. And um, from what I've seen, it doesn't seem like most of the puzzles have changed as much. So we'll get let's see how much we can solve to get through it. Um, Cliff Top Games uh, made a really are really good. I like some of their games. I really like the Kathy Rain picture for the series, whatever. Oh, hi, Swim Fam. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, trust you, yeah. Gar uh, Leisure Shoot games are very unique, and the missing floppies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. jeez, uh, Lord, the, all his guys. <laughs> like I said, I, I follow Al Rowe on uh, Twitter just for his like daily uh, dad jokes, whatever, and interest. Like when I get around them, it's like Jesus, man. I, I try not to chuckle, but he's really good. It's it's like um, you know, just be It's like it's like guy brush level humor, where it's subtlety, but it's also funny once you put once you put it together. It's like Monkey Island humor. I would yeah. just describe it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so Kathy. Oh, he's less clean than. than it's less clean. Yeah, less clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And once once you find he's talking about yeah, he's talking about hon he's talking about honkers and hot dogs. You realize, oh man, what a dirty mind this guy is. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but definitely though, Kathy. Um, yeah, so Kathy Rain is uh, I'll answer fan emails very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like Gabe, it's like Gabe Newell, it's like Gabe Newell swim. So Kathy Rain, uh, this is the director's cut, which adds more and changes bits of the game. Uh, Summer, have you ever gotten into this series or played any game by Clifftop? Uh, as I was saying before, I've played the demo of Cafe Rain and I meant to get around to playing the full game but I just haven't but it seems like a great game I've watched some other people stream parts of it and it looked like a great story really intrigued to see more of it uh, and also I have enjoyed uh, Whispers of a Machine their second full game mm -hmm. um, which is yeah quite a bit different I would say uh, but it's also yeah. very good I think it's just I know that you you said you have troubles with the UI, and I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a bit confusing. Yeah. Yeah. So my whispers of the machine. Um, when I pur I purchased this game a couple of years ago, and the first case of just solving it, it was so much UI going on. I was like, it was too much for me. I usually I there was a lot. And by the way, this it's not because none of the story, none of the art. I think the UI mostly tripped me up, and I couldn't get it down. I think that it's a, a lot of you guys have cool ideas. But there's probably better ways to simplify it, and hopefully it does better with it. Does seem fairly amicable. I mean, he did make he did make se he did make seven games about one dick joke, so <laughs> <laughs> pretty amicable to me. Get it? I'm just surprised he got. A the only thing is, I'm surprised too is like before we start the game is that he got he kind of got away with it in 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 that era of stuff because the parents were like back in the '90s. Uh, once Mortal Kombat became a thing, parents were like against video games as much as they were against D and D during that time. It's like, yeah, yeah. A big part of it was just uh, getting sales through raising controversy, really, um, with with Leisure Suit Larry. But also, Larry, uh, Allo also made other successful games. Like he started out uh, creating educational children 
children's games for Sierra. Oh, and, interesting. Uh, yeah, and he made some other uh, well-known and respected uh, Sierra games like Freddy Farkas Frontier Pharmacist, Torrance Passage. Uh, but he will also always be best known for Leisure <laughs> Suit <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Fair enough. The only thing is that I did not grow up in the era of, of Sierra games. I'm more of a, like, towards the end of Sierra and LucasArts. And the only LucasArts game I never, I don't think I ever played was Loom. And I feel like Loom is a joke and a meme, so I always say, like, have you played Loom? And I don't know who has. <laughs> I can see where, why you're thinking it's a bit of a meme because of Cobb and Monkey Island, but it's a great mm -hmm. game. Mm. Hey, you. Uh, hey. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. She's just done. Oh, Kathy's God, a mood. this is so yeah, comfy. I agree. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. <laughs> a bit extreme. I, uh, yeah. I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Yeah. Uh huh. She's very edgy. This Leave room that. Strokes <laughs> different you can just look at her like that. So, I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I. Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but. Wait, hear me out! So, I noticed this article about uh -huh. a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. Mm -hmm. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Ooh. Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. <laughs> and, and She's this, a hinting bad His time. name was Joseph. Yeah. Joseph Rain. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. What did you just say? Dun, you knew dun, him, dun, right? Dun, dun, dun. I knew it! <laughs> I knew you'd know him. I mean, they have the same last name. <laughs> yeah. So the interesting part about this is that you may notice some similarities. And again, this is not a dig at Clifftop whatsoever. I mean, it's very politely. There's little similarities between this game's UI and some of his, I would say, portrait mechanics similar to uh, Blackwell. I think you may, if you, if you Blackwell series, yeah, yeah. Which, you know, it's not a dig. I, I, I think Blackwell as a series and as a game series is really integral to the canon of point and click games. It's definitely it, a difficult, yeah. yeah. Definitely, it's been very formative for a lot of uh, indie game developers who kind of saw Blackwell and thought like, oh, the, the this series is so successful and so great. Okay, maybe I could also make something like this. Because before before the Blackwell series at the, at the end of the 2000s, the, the genre was kind of dead. Like, there were some games being made, but they were... Yeah, not they were overshadowed. Well in general, and yeah. yeah, they were very overshadowed, and they they generally, I have to say, they were generally of poorer quality. Yeah, so it's then, uh, yeah. Oh no, hundred percent. I was I was gonna say like yeah. there was huge there was huge divides of games like people trying to go for this, uh, go for like let's go fully on to three D scale games, full three D. Mm -hmm. Let's jump the train like modern games, and those games were like, uh, questionable. And then you had games that try to go back to the original, like, ideas, but didn't know how... I feel like there's a lot of people who are fans of things, but not the fan. They fans, they like it, but not fans, they understood it. I feel like they liked the ideas of these older point-click games, but didn't understand what made them work, so they just... It felt like Spaghetti Monster of games, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, have a, I would have to agree on that. And then the Black Belt series came along, it was just like, oh, this... The, this is getting it right, and this is just like something we we should look towards as how we can do these games now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is was my grandfather. Hey, wait a minute! I never told you where I grew up. <laughs> oh well, I well I might have sort of looked you up. <laughs> oh, I'm not cool, Eileen. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're gonna help yourself to a restraining <laughs> order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. <laughs> as a I know. <laughs> well, oh, anyway, Lord. you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. <sighs> Good night, Kathy. Unironically, I would ship them, but I know the reason. I, it, it depends <laughs> on what this uh, director's cut does. <laughs> I 
Oh, 95. Okay, oh, that was 80. Okay, so, yep, the next day. Oh, God, make that it is stop. very early internet. Yep. Mm hmm. Look at that tutorial. I love tutorials. <laughs> Alarm clock, it is. Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Cat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. I'm so getting a new roommate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Classic. I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Okay. So in the original, there were um ways where you can just turn on the alarm clock and go back to sleep like a jerk. But I guess it's not in the director's cut, which is fine because it was just silly. So, oh, they have this now. You can, yeah. Eileen makes her bed with surgical precision. You learn more about Eileen. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Oh, no relation, Summer? Mildred. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get her for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. Oh, my god. So... Makeup check, Would hair you play check, more Sierra games? Uh, did you also humanity. play Lucas Arts games as well? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I when I uh, honestly, was a child, she can believe in what she wants as long as she doesn't try to shove it down my throat. Lucas Arts more than Sierra. I see. Yeah, uh, yeah. Monkey Island, Indiana Jones, and the Phase of Fate of Atlantis. That was one that I really loved back then. Um, Loom, of course. Yes, tell me about uh, Loom. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, but on a, on a serious note, not, I don't want to cut you off. You know what? Um, I've seen uh, people retweet or uh, talk about uh, um, Indiana Jones. I never had a chance to play those. The monkey, I'm, uh, the, the first Monkey Island I played was through my father uh, when he purchased the game for me when I was in my younger years. And then I started playing. I played Monkey 2 and Monkey 1 when he managed to get them. And then I played Escape. And then I played some others. But my thing about Alan, uh, Indiana Jones is that as I've seen screenshots of it and people talk about it, the UI of the game is beautiful looking and it looks really cool <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it's it was certainly i one think of that the... movie is about a girl Better and a boy who hate and each other at first and then they fall in love for no like, reason it just, at all it just sucks you right in oh. indiana jones and the Fantasy, <laughs> that's every and romantic comedy ever grips you right from mm -hmm. the start and doesn't let go and i i really uh, uh, recommend experiencing it if, if you haven't yet Definitely. I hope it, I find. Oh, and and I, I mean personally, I know there's other ways to play it, but I hope it's a legal way to play it. But because it's Indiana Jones and owned by certain company and properties, you know, eh, a little, a, a little, a little bit of a high seas adventure is my way to get my way to play it if I wanted to play it. Uh, it's it's available on GOG if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check, but I'm actually let me take sure a, let me it's... let's let me take a quick detour. Let's do that both together. I'm gonna mute the game for a sec and then let's let's double check. Yeah. Oh, it's on GOG. Fantastic. Yep, yeah, I see it as well. Oh, yeah. that's good. All right, then I don't... I have... I, yeah. <laughs> I have issues with GOG as far as its parent company and such go, but it is it is a, still a great storefront for uh, the good old games, let's say. <laughs> yeah, 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 no problem. I've, I have The only wagon of uh, internet dealership I trust... I mostly trust Gabe Newell for Steam, because he's Gabe Newell, obviously, our lord and savior, jokingly. Um, I don't... <laughs> I'm not a fan of Epic, for because I'm not a fan of their marketing and how they do business. Mm -hmm. But And GOG, I haven't heard much things about them, but I've seen people advertise their sales when they happen. So that's only... I, I know absolutely nothing about GOG, so I'm just going to leave them with a neutral mark for now. Until I learn something about them, like they secret, <laughs> like like they secretly are the ones who canceled Monkey Island Seven. You know, <laughs> they cancel. <laughs> well, so GOG really did in the let's say early tens do mm -hmm. a lot for bringing back these games, making them accessible, playable again on modern platforms. Uh, a lot of free releases they helped with. So yeah, GOG was pretty great in that regard for a long time uh lately they we meet again mr bear don't give me that look it's not my fault they, you ended well, up so close to my lighter <laughs> their original game was even good old, good old games but then they uh changed that to gog to emphasize less on retro games classic games mm -hmm. and they just phased out of that kind of and yeah they they 
as I said, there is still a good storefront for it, but uh, my personal gri gripe with them is uh, so the parent company also publishes and develops games my like trusty Zippo. Uh, the, the only Witcher thing series my deadbeat dad Cyberpunk left me. 2077. There's a crude inscription. You BH, probably know this. Is a mystery. To uh, me. And Cyberpunk 2077 contains some oh. transphobic content that they also advertised with and. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that that was a controversy that made me not a fan of them, and as well as some transphobic tweets uh, oh, on they... their Twitter account that they said was just that one person. But Don't tempt I think me. It's, I think it's a company culture. Mm. Yeah. Also, Eastern European. That's that's a lot of mm, yeah yeah big, uh, <laughs> culture going on. In there yeah yeah. Sure. I'm not. Yeah I'm not. Trust me. I've I've seen. Let's put it this way. I'm not to get randomly political. I've seen too many people have arguments about Eastern European timelines. I'm like, you know what? Let me just put a pin on that and never go back to that line. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's why I'm not a personal fan of GOG, but I do still sometimes buy games from them if they're not accessible anywhere else, or if it's just like... Well, the, the thing also about them is just like, just like itch, uh, their stuff is DRM free. And yeah, that was, yeah. I, I think that's pretty important for preservation of games, so... That's I, I buy a lot on Steam as well, but you know, Steam your your game collection can be, just be gone in a flash. Yeah, uh, even if, if you uh, decide. yeah, even though I'm backing them up to my uh, hard drive as uh, back only as a hard drive, that is possible if they're connected to some other things. Yeah, the my RM electric guitar just... got it cheap from a lesbian I met you, at a concert. You don't have help me get rid of my last you, two roommates. You have a license to the game, but you don't really own the game. Yeah, and that's like a ten-hour argument about ownership. It's, it's, it's <laughs> like I've always, I've always, my honest opinion of this is like if you purchase a product, you own it. If you transform a product, you purchase something else. That's that's where legal stuff gets in. But I highly doubt that even though we have a, a clearly more technologically available society, we're all smarter, et cetera, et cetera. I highly doubt that everyone who's purchasing something is going to transform it. Also, she bought this from a lesbian at a concert. Interesting. Pulp Fiction, <laughs> love that flick. Pulp Fiction that's is a good movie. Yeah. Just some random band poster. Fire guitar. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, a <laughs> messy. Stated by someone like by it. by all your guitars from lesbians at concerts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. All right, so we ch so I checked out everyone. See everything here. I can't use any of scanner, or telephone. Let's uh, let's get out of here. A well, walk speed seems a bit slower than the original. Maybe? Yeah, I was just wondering the same. Yeah. They don't want to, they don't want they don't want me speeding it through. I, I love this motorcycle. The animation is so good, yeah. Yeah, this this is like the, the scene that's always stuck in my mind. Yeah. So they did a lot of touch ups between this and the original, and like, you see a little more color you know, it's great. You see like this is like originally kind of a blackish type Harley, but yeah, like what a nice mm -hmm. update. Yeah. Yeah, now we get this. looks good, but now it looks even better. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh, just my luck. Look at that. Oh no. The popo. Yep. Five oh. You oh. know why I pulled you over, ma'am? Oh, I love what they did here. Okay. I'm gonna It is similar to the old skies, exactly. Exactly. See, everyone we all learn from each other, and uh, yeah, if you want to see more Old Skies gameplay, it's on my YouTube channel, yeah, hey, I'm just kidding, that's enough shilling. But, um, so, okay, so this, this is a cop character you'll meet later on in the game, I won't put any spoilers out there, but I love what they did over here, they did this, so you can, there's a reason why you know each other before you met him, that's just, good, good, they, they, they fixed out the little, little, little holes in the, uh, the original game, the little holes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, all right. Let's see. What what's the most sarcastic response we have here? Um, I would pick two, I think. But <laughs> how am I driving? That tip quarter of yours is gonna fill itself. Yeah, <laughs> take a quarter. That's also a good one. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go with two. Compliment me on my driving. It's gotta be to compliment me on my driving, right? Trying to be a smart ass, ma'am. Nobody likes a smart ass. Prove it. Do you know how fast you were going? <laughs> yes. And? And? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> a smart ass playing dumb. Aren't you just a perfect blend of obnoxious? <laughs> I guess so. Mm-hmm. 
Look, I'm really sorry, officer. I'm in a huge hurry to this thing, and the road has been empty for miles. You know how it is. Well, what I do know is that the speed limit here is 65. I clocked you at 77. You're getting a ticket. Oh, to the movies? <laughs> I prefer horror flicks. Oh, God, I love it. Regular her. comedian, huh? Don't quit your day job. Time to burn that ticket for it never happened. At least she has a good taste in movies. Yeah. <laughs> this is the 90s, so... God, there's a lot of good horror movies. This is 95, so... Oh, man, if anyone chat no horror movies that came out, like, late 94 or 95, let me know. Because I think there was a couple of good ones that came out during that time. Probably. Yeah, because... Like old, when I think of old well, horror movies, I've only seen mostly the classic slasher stuff. Oh yeah, those are great. Oh, they move her being God, late to really the ticket. Smoke. Does anyone object? <laughs> to what? Guess not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's just too edgy for me. I can't handle this. I mean, it's easy to get uh, approval from people who can't object. Yeah. Alright. So in the original, there's an achievement if you smoke a lot of cigarettes or little to no cigarettes. So I'm gonna I don't know if that's in here. Oof. Oh, they did a grave scene a lot bigger. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. Mm -hmm. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing, while our loss, is surely heaven's gain. <laughs> now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Yeah. I don't know who this guy is, so I'm not gonna spoil anything. So what this thing they changed it to that it was a much smaller funeral, the entire cast right there is Phoebe interacting, whatever, are there. So that's kinda cool oh, now. Kathy, you big baby, just uh -huh. talk to her. Alright, talk to Kathy Rain. NZ five hundred self defense stun gun. This is an achievement, so I just want you guys to see it. NZ five hundred self defense stun gun. Can you NZ? actually use it? Um. Yeah. Oh Wouldn't my that God. be an electrifying first impression? Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. If you yeah. So and so basically the point click in this game works is that it's one click everything. So you have to hold down the button to do an action essentially. Oh. So you have to like drag and drop. See? My smokes, about a half a pack. Started when I was twelve and never looked back. Pretty much the only thing keeping me sane. Mm. Yeah, grip, grip your lungs when you're thirty. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, you won't li live long like that. <laughs> but you'll be cool. That's that's always the uh, thing about it. Like, oh, me, cool, Mrs. Rain. Yeah. Mm. Good old. Have we met, on? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? Catherine. You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now finally coming home. Let's hope he can. Wherever he is. A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Mm -hmm. Fifteen sounds much taller. Right. right side of the screen. Hey, there you go, Katie, you know it. Goodness, we have some catching up to do. Then, <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. Mm-hmm. Well, now we can we can go like multiple locations. 
See, so if I left click, you can't do anything, so. Nah, we can talk more later at the house. Yeah. Personally, I don't mind one click or two click point click games. It just, to me, it mostly depends on how well the UI is interface and how it, you can interact with the game. Like, I. I think people probably talk about this to death, and I talk about this wolves a bit too. The UI in Return to Monkey Island is phenomenal on multiple oh, yeah. levels. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And for me, it it's a mix of both having it just feel user-friendly and natural, yeah. uh, and also giving you enough options to experience the game worlds. Like, some, some games overwhelm you, and yeah. others, I feel like, don't always allow you to do as much as you'd want to but yeah some some just get it right and return to monkey island certainly right because yeah because like your return if you like look at an object there's like a little hint or icon says what it does so you can do with it i think that's mm -hmm. really cool as an idea yeah i agree you don't want to get me started let's just say me and the humble servants of god have a History of not getting along. Oh, Ark, yo, Ark Mongus, thank you for Ark Mongus. I call it like a mango, jeez. <laughs> Arch, yo, Arch Magnus, thank you for the thank you for the raid, man. Hope you had, hope you enjoyed your good stream of um, hustling dice in Kingdom Come. I know that that was your plan, hustle all the dice in the world. <laughs> yeah, I love uh, Arch Magnus' uh, Kingdom Come deliverance streams, and yeah, he's a great streamer in general. Yeah, that he's a cool dude. I've uh, I, I talked to him a couple times. Oh, Wolf's, you were there too. All of you guys coming into my stream. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. Hey, can see you, Wolfs. Hey, yeah, Wolfs. Yeah. And Wolfs, uh, I got good news. All the all the uh, work I've done for the videos, they'll be up soon or already will be up. I just have to kill my editor for it, okay? I already trimmed it down. I just have to make sure my editor does all the nice stuff, tricking and tapping, because I'm, I'm, I'm up my own man. So, you know, it'll, they'll be happening soon. Which, by the way, you have a cool glasses wolf thing. You could have gave me that. It could have been your, your PNG. You have the sunglasses. You're too cool now. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. Mm. Thanks. If you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. Mm-hmm. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to turn away from a path of sin. Oh! Ooh! Juf! Oof! Oof, like, uh, Path of sin, I'm like, hey, 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 um... I only- look, I have a boat- I have a motorcycle, a lesbian guitar, a gar, like a guitar bow from a lesbian. I smoke. <laughs> That's not really sinful yet, okay? It's really sinful. I start burning down buildings. <laughs> it's really <laughs> sinful. <when that's> <laughs> oh god. Jeez. Hmm. I feel like one or two of the better responses be snippy. Uh, I feel one. Personally, yeah. But, Let's yeah, go with one then. Just think he's very prejudiced. Yeah. And what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. I hope to see you at the church. <sighs> Don't get your hopes up, buddy. I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. He's the worst type. In multiple ways, you'll see later on. Mm. But he's the worst. Like, that's just... I mean, we're all simple creatures. Why you say I'm simple? Like, yeah, those types, you know? Mm. Like, a little, little tangent right here. I think a lot of people use religion to hide the stupid stuff they believe I feel about people because it justifies it. Rather than looking at, yo, it's just a belief system. It's cool you have it. It's cool you use it. It's all whatever. But the moment you start judging other people for it, you're not really following the holy the holy book you have, okay? Just, just <laughs> Completely agreed. Oh, oh, look, you can choose multiple bikes now. Oh, Ooh. look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, bikes. This is so nice. Nice. Huh. They nice. really did. Yeah, really good changed quite a lot to the director's cuts. Yep. Now it's time to visit Mrs. Rain. 